Is there a lot of traffic today? Is there a lot of traffic? Uh, is there a lot of traffic or is this normal? You pretty much just stand there, you don't cross. When the light turns green, you just you stay there. Glad I'm not driving. Look at this traffic here on Battery, downtown San Francisco Financial District. Check it out, watch this. Yep. Just sit here. This is it. This is it. You just sit there. This is why people don't have a car in San Francisco. Just non-stop gridlock traffic. This is at rush hour. It's like 4 o'clock right now. Just enjoying the day. Perfect. Another day in paradise for me, man. I'm not sitting in that traffic. I'm sitting here in the sun. All right, here's a better look at this traffic. Traffic, cool. <laughs> but we can cross when it's, when it's red walking, you just cross. Who would have believed some guy on the phone what millions of people would watch? It's not even stupid, you know, but it is. <laughs> All right. So that's it. You walk and then you honk. Listen to this. Listen to this. The best part about traffic is when you're stuck in it and you just you just sit there on the horn. Picture some fat guy. He's like in a cartoon character. He's a fat guy like South Park. He's so big and roly-poly and he's sitting there on his horn. So I hear all this traffic and I see these people honking the horns, sitting there in traffic like this and just sit there and honk. It reminds me, it looks like a, like a big fat guy, like a cartoon character, just sitting there honking his horn. Can't do anything about it. I'll tell you a story when I got stuck in traffic here, you know, one time. A while back, I don't get stuck in traffic. Everything's good for me. I over, I will float over the traffic. When it happened, it was two buses, they have these big giant power lines. You can see them in there or not. There's these power lines, right? The buses, they go on these power lines. They're electric buses. And there's two buses in Union Square that have both fallen off the power lines. And so when they fall, fall off these power lines, what happened was they were like basically narrowed into each other. And it was like, you know, you know, buses like this facing each other, right? You can't really see it well. Anyways, so I'm the second car behind this where this happened. And traffic like this, you know, where you see like thousand cars all this traffic is building up I was the second car and there's a Range Rover in front of me now every other guy here who's lazy or fat he can't wait can't wait to go home and be a, a couch potato a cow, you know, couch potato coach and coaching his best team all over the internet or over over a TV and a remote control he can't wait to get home and do that but bottom line is I'm here this is what happened there's an old guy in front of me in this Range Rover they st they hadn't started honking yet behind me you know they weren't doing it yet so I'm like Okay, I saw the buses were offline because I was the second guy here. So I'm thinking, that's a really narrow space. These buses are like, they created a small space for the car. And I didn't know if we could get to it, but I, th I knew I could because I'm, I'm, I, I, know, I know my limits. The guy in front of me didn't think so. So I get out of the car, I didn't honk, I get out of the car. The guys on the buses are standing next to each other on the buses. They're talking on their phones, looking at each other like scratching their heads. They're off the power lines. It takes a while to get that back on. Those things aren't moving. The guy in front of me was, it was a senior citizen guy, an old man, and, a, and his wife. And I get up next to him and say, sir, how you doing? It's a great day. And he's like, well, I can't, I can't get through here. He's like saying, like, kind of nervously, I can't get squeezed through. I said, let me take a look. He had a nice brand new white Range Rover. He didn't want to scratch it up. I, let me take a look at it. I get up real close to it. I said, look, if I carefully signal you through, you think you can make it through? If I carefully, I promise you won't scratch it if you go slow. I like, yeah. I was like, okay. So he starts kind of narrowing through really slow. And, like directing traffic, I'm like, all right, buddy, you can make it, you can make it. When he gets like, you know, six inches on either side, he gets through, I jump back in, boom, jet through, traffic opens up. At least it's one lane and we move through and there wasn't any honking. Story on traffic.